Hello everyone and happy Artist Day. I'm going to take this time to share with you guys some artwork that I have made throughout my life. And the reason I want to share this with you is to show you that the more you practice, the better you will get at art. So this is something I made when I was in college, but I didn't start off making art like this. This is something I made when I was in kindergarten. So you can see that I started off the same level as you guys did. This is me as a ballerina, and that is my ballerina teacher. So just like you guys, I drew my people just the way any kindergartner or first grader would draw. But you can see that as I got older and practiced more, my second grade people look a little bit better. Now this is a family portrait I drew. That's my mom, my grandmother, my dad, my grandpa, my brother, and me. You can see that I'm the littlest. But what's funny about this picture is how big I drew my grandfather. He didn't really appreciate that, but everyone else in the family thought it was funny. And so this hung on the refrigerator for years and years and years. So then moving on to fifth grade, I started being able to use more materials like paint. This is a painting I did of a dolphin jumping out of the water. And what I like about this painting is some of the texture that you can see the different colors and it looks like you can feel the ocean. So I was able to do that in fifth grade from practicing. Something else I got to do in fifth grade was I was a part of a claymation workshop and they actually came from the newspaper and took pictures of us doing it. So claymation's kind of hard to explain if you've never seen it, but you can see this little clay figure. It looks just like me. It's my claymation self-portrait. It Claymation is like a cartoon, but instead of the people being drawings, they're little clay figures that walk around. If you've ever seen the show Shaun the Sheep, that's how they make that show. So then I got older and I moved on to middle school. So that's sixth, seventh, and eighth grade. And in middle school, um, we had art every day for um, a third of the year. And then we had gym every day for another third and then music every day for the last. So being able to be in the art room every day and drawing like that really made my skills get better. So for this project, we were given a ribbon and we had to lay it out on the table. And then we had to kind of look at the places where it bends. And you can see that they get darker and then lighter. So we were trying to draw it realistically. So it looked like real life. But for the background, we could choose whatever background we wanted. So I decided to draw a theater curtain with some theater masks. Something else I made when I was in middle school was this picture. For this one, we had to look at our shoes. So it might be hard to tell, but that's actually a shoe right there. So we drew our shoe once, and then we had to trace it four times. So it went in a circle. And then we had to draw colorful patterns in the different parts of our shoe. After middle school, I went on to high school. And once again, I decided to take lots of art classes. So in art, in high school, they focused on us trying to draw realistic things like ourselves. So we did a lot of self portraits. So here I am and I drew this with colored pencil. We also had to draw everyday objects and that helped us get better at drawing just by noticing things around us. So here's a picture I drew of a Chips Ahoy bag. Once again, I used colored pencils to make it. We got to use other fun materials too. This is a picture of a fruit basket that I drew and I used oil pastels to make it. And you guys might get to use those next year in the art room because we definitely have some of those. So that was a fun project and I used a magazine picture to look off to make my picture of the apples. So after high school, I just really wanted to keep taking art classes. And so I decided to become an art teacher. So while I was in college to become an art teacher, I got to take more art classes. So one of my first drawing classes, we had to use pen and ink. And once again, we just had to draw objects. So this is a picture of a stuffed animal. And I, the, like I said, the material I used to draw was 
ink. And what you do is you wet the ink down to make different shades. And then you're able to have darks and lights and medium tones. And then you can make things look like real life. Here is a drawing I did. And what I did is I went uptown. My college was in the city of Oxford. And I had to go uptown in Oxford and sit on the corner and draw the buildings. Now this was very tricky for me because I had to use a ruler and I had to be very, very careful. So this is, was not my favorite project that I ever did, but it did teach me how to be neat and it taught me how to measure. And so it really worked and made my art skills better. Also, when I was in college, I got to do other types of things like printmaking. Printmaking is really fun. You get to make stamps and then you can make two of the same artwork. So this is one something I made, and it is some ants carrying some fruit over to their nest. Also, when I was in college, I got to take a medals class. So this is a picture of a pin that I made. So I, you could actually pin this to your shirt. Down here, there's a little safety pin. And I got to take a painting class. This painting is really, really big, so I had to show you a picture of it. But uh, a girl came into our class and sat in a chair and we all sat around and had to paint a picture of her. So as you can see, the older I've gotten and the more I've practiced, the better I have gotten at art. And even though I've graduated and I work as an art teacher, I still make my own artwork. Here is a painting I did of my grandfather it's kind of big, so you're, I'm just going to show you a part of it. So you can see that I still work hard on my art. So if you ever are discouraged about how your art looks, or if you ever draw something and it's not the favorite thing that you've done, it's okay. The more you practice, the better you get. So keep on practicing, and I love seeing your guys' artwork, and I hope I get to see you guys next year in the art room.